In question 3 of this exercise, we have to solve the following pair of linear equations by substitution as well as cross multiplication. So this is the pair of linear equations that we have and we have to solve this using both substitution as well as cross multiplication. So let's first do it using substitution. So in substitution, let's use any of the two equations to write one variable in terms of the other. So let me take this first equation and from this equation, let me write x in terms of y. So we have 8x plus 5y equal to 9. From here, I can write 8x equal to 9 minus 5y or x is equal to 9 minus 5y by 8. So from the first equation, this is how I can write x in terms of y. Now let's substitute this value of x into the second equation which is 3x plus 2y equal to 4. So the second equation is 3x plus 2y equal to 4. Now instead of x, let's write this expression in y that we got which is 9 minus 5y by 8 and then we have plus 2y equal to 4. Now let's simplify this equation. So we have 3 into 9 minus 5y. So that's 27 minus 15y. And then we have this 8 and 2y. 2y uh, does not have any denominator. So we multiply 2y by 8. So we get 16y. And then we have an 8 below all these three terms. That 8 I can cross multiply on the right side. And that will give me 32 on the right side. So now what will I get? So I have minus 15y plus 16y. So that's y. And this 27 I can take to the right side, subtract it from 32. And that will give me y equal to 5. Now that I have y equal to 5, I can substitute that into this expression for x. And that will give me the value of x. So what is x? So x will be equal to 9 minus 5y. 5y will be 25. So 9 minus 25 or minus 16 by 8 and that is equal to minus 2. So the solution using substitution that we get is x is equal to minus 2 and y is equal to 5. Now let's solve the same pair of equations using cross multiplication. So for cross multiplication we write x y and 1 and then we write the coefficients but to write the coefficients we should write these two equations in the standard form so in the standard form they are 8x plus 5y minus 9 equal to 0 so I bring the constant term also to the left side and similarly 3x plus 2y minus 4 equal to 0 and now the coefficients for cross multiplication will be a1 and a2 so first will be b1 and b2 so that's 5 and 2 and then we will have c1 and c2 so that's minus 9 and minus 4 then we will have a1 and a2 so that's 8 and 3 and then we will have b1 and b2 again so that's 5 and 2 and now using this grid we can write the uh, equalities for cross multiplication so we'll get x by 5 into minus 4 that's minus 20 minus 2 into minus 9 so that becomes plus 18 so x by minus 20 plus 18 so this will be equal to y by minus 9 into 3 so that's minus 27 and then minus minus 4 times 8 so that's plus 32 and then we will have 1 by 8 times 2 so that's 16 minus 3 times 5 so that's minus 15 and from here we get x by minus 2 equal to y by 5 equal to 1 by 1 and now if I compare the first and the third terms I get x equal to minus 2 minus 2 and if I compare the second and the third terms I get y equal to 5. So the solution that we get is x equal to minus 2 and 
y is equal to 5 which matches the solution that we got using substitution. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.